the year 2024, and the world is faster than ever. Apple already came out with the iPhone 15. Artificial intelligence is getting smarter, and humanity is growing older. Everyone's always going from one thing to the other. No breaks. Gotta wake up fast. Gotta brush teeth fast. Gotta eat fast. Gotta go to work fast. We're all just running and keeping busy, trying to be productive with our short lives. Because I don't have time to waste doing something trivial and unimportant. I gotta use all my time to work. And work. and work. The other day I was trying to draw in my sketchbook and I was feeling impatient with myself because my hand wasn't able to accurately draw the picture I was looking at, which is normal because I'm a beginner. But I was so frustrated because I want to already be good at drawing. I want to get it fast and, and get the results so that I can be proud of my work. And then I watched a YouTube video of this person drawing a portrait. And I was in complete awe. Because it made me realize that art takes time. And honestly, while I was drawing, I was coming from a place of wanting to do it quick and getting it over with. But when you do that, you're missing the layers and the essential steps of the artistic process. And I'm a musician. I know this, I should know this. I know that you need to pour hours and hours practicing to get better. But for some reason, drawing felt like such a hard and arduous process for me. And I think it's because I have this notion in my head that I need to go fast and that I need, I, I should already be doing something in 30 minutes and already get it in the snap of a finger. But no, it's supposed to be slow. Drawing is slow. You can't rush it. You need to take the time to draw this line correctly to make sure that the shape is in proportion to everything else. And if it's not good, you just want to erase it and do it over and over again until you get it right. And this is especially important because I'm a beginner. I don't have the muscle memory. And of course it's gonna take longer than I expect. But after watching that video, I could see how much that person loved the process of drawing. How much they loved just sitting there for hours with their pencil and going over all the details. And it made me realize that when you love something that much, it doesn't feel long. It doesn't feel like a struggle anymore. And I thought that was so inspiring 
and it made me want to apply that in my own art. The world has become so fast that I started to think I needed to do everything fast too. That I needed to be this supernatural machine who performs efficiently and can do a million things at the same time. And whenever I get a new task or learn a new skill, I have unrealistic expectations and think I can achieve a certain result in a day or a week. But in reality, it takes hours and years to become good at something. We prioritize speed because the faster we go, the more results we produce. But the thing is, I'm human. And humans need time. Things take time. We're so fixated on the result that we forget to love the process. Sometimes we forget why we even loved it in the first place. Because of all the pressure we put on ourselves. So no matter how long it takes, no matter how slow you go, be patient and persistent. Love your craft and your art because it's your passion that matters way more than any result.